Um, my name is uh, Mehra Zia. I am uh, from France, originally from Tunisia, but uh, now I'm a French citizen and um, I belong to Religions for Peace uh, France, the French uh, section, and uh, I coordinate the women, uh, the Global Women of Faith Network, which is the women group of Religions for Peace. But women's role is essential in this uh, dialogue between communities, between cultures, and uh, yes, the exact words, bridging the gaps. Women have this uh, capacity of uh, being mediators, mediators of intercultural dialogue between, between, sometimes between the members of their family. And uh, this is why uh, when I observe my experience with the Religions for Peace Network, I uh, note that uh, the role of women is essential, is very important, and its importance is growing from one year to the other. Um, for example, if we take all the activities of peace education projects and programs, the leading figures are women. And uh, being a member of Religious for Peace empowered us as religious women to have a voice, to be visible within our communities, our respective communities, but as a group of women from different faith, faith traditions working together to promote women rights, women place in the society, but also to promote peace through religious message and uh, let's say to explore the potentiality of peace within the, the, our, our religions and within religions in general together. Uh, without preaching any ecofeminism, I shall say that women are the first group to be sensitive to the climate issue and to the environment issue. And uh, if we look at the documents of United Nations, and since I think the, the, the founding of this organization, each time a group of women uh, are allowed to speak and to contribute, they draw attention on the um, issue of environment and climate change. And uh, if we look at uh, the regions of the world most affected by this climate change, unfortunately, we found that most victims are women and the children, for example, women in poor countries and women, for example, who are working in farming and they work usually to uh, sustain their families, they are victims of uh, climate change, they are victims of drought, they are uh, victims also of uh, uh, the, the shortage of food, of water. Uh, for example, in many countries in Africa, women and young girls walk about three or four kilometers to go and find water, clean, more or less clean water to drink. And uh, uh, very often they transport this water on their heads. Sometimes they are helped by donkeys or some other animals to transport water. So women are touched by the change, uh, the, the change of climate. And this is why they are mobilized, naturally mobilized to fight against. And uh, they are um, also aware of the consequences of the climate change and uh, they may be a vector of awareness and of sensitizing to other people, their children or the other members of society to uh, the importance and to the danger of uh, climate change on populations. So for me, women are, um, of course, as I said, victims, but they can also be actors to sensitize and to change the situation. This is why our voice, the voice of women, is very important in such an event as the week for climate change in UN. If I have uh, uh, to uh, describe the network of global women of faith and religions for peace, I would say it's a network of hope. Yes, because in joining our force in um, 
our experiences and in helping each other as women and as believers, women and men within this network of global women of faith and reason for peace, we are um, transmitting hope. Not uh, false hope through speech, but real hope through projects. I uh, very often give the example of uh, a lady from Africa and uh, I met her when I met her first uh, first time I met her in 1989 in uh, the uh, General Assembly of uh, uh, International Assembly of uh, Religions for Peace she was starting her path as lady rebuild uh, contributing to the reconstruction of peace in her country and now she is uh, I think she's Secretary of State or something like that in her society. So she contributes to real change in her society. And for me, it's the image of hope. And all our sisters in Africa, in Asia, in uh, South America, uh, they are a vector of hope. Because uh, if they say no to such some uh, s s difficult situation, uh, they also act to change them. And uh, our network so is a natural.